I'm sorry guys, I don't know what happened. I don't know whether it was a Wi-Fi issue or a phone issue or a something issue, but literally the live feed just stopped. The phone just shut down just as I put the donuts into the donut maker. But it's okay, because here we are now, and guess what, the donuts are ready. So this is donut healthy donut making part two. Remember they're gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, and yeah. <laughs> gluten free sugar free and dairy free um, donuts and what do they look like when they're done so if you haven't seen the video before this go on to Bridget's kitchen yes Robin we're back I don't know what happened literally I was just going along having a good old time and then pff, the whole feed shut down my phone actually shut down so it could be a phone issue I'd like I said I'm not entirely sure but some um, technology yay you gotta love it but you know what's really exciting I've done like hundreds of these it's the first time that's ever happened so it's pretty good generally but it was like right at the real pivotal moment eh? when you're like what do those donuts look like well guess what they are ready <laughs> look at this look at that Look, look, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. This is, you just like, a, just like a little, poke a little hole through there. Look at that. How amazing. It takes, in my little donut maker, it takes, it takes around about two and a half minutes to make six of these little mini donuts. Oh, they smell amazing. They smell so, so good. And you get them and they look like, you would swear, that I put that in the deep fryer, right? You would swear, I'm just gonna take the edges off just to make them real tight, you don't have to, edges are delicious. You would swear that I put that in the deep fryer, but I put it into my little machine. So I'm gonna make some more, just only because we missed out, right, on the actual complete uh, cooking of the donut. So let's go back down here. Let's make some more donuts. I thought I actually put too much mixture in the first time, but I'm figuring I didn't because they, they seem to have come out really, really well. Notice I have not greased these molds at all. You don't have to grease the molds. It is nuts that you do not need to do that, right? Because this is a little non-stick mold and you don't have to do it. It's absolutely fabulous. I love that, I love that sort of stuff that you don't have to add anymore. You know, we have got coconut oil in our mixture. So we don't actually have to add any of our, uh, any more oil or mixture to it. And when you put it in this little baggie, it's really easy to do as well. It just takes, you know, a, a little bit of time and a little bit of control, not too much control. Put the lid down. This is where we lost, lost, co lost coverage last time, right? We're all good this time. <laughs> all right, I'm licking my fingers, can't help it. So we have got Donuts ready after a couple of minutes. We have donuts in there. What is the next stage that you could possibly imagine for making these donuts amazing? And um, the, video, the photo I shared yesterday, the teaser, the teaser that I put out yesterday when it came to these donuts were um, my, we had them covered, or I dipped them into sugar-free chocolate. So let's do that. Let's think about our toppings now while the rest of our donuts cook. Okay, ready? I'll bring you back down again. Okay, so here are our little mini donuts already ready. The first thing you could think about doing with your mini donuts is one thing that's probably quite obvious to a lot of people, which would be cinnamon sugar. But of course, I'm not, if this is no sugar in here, this is cinnamon powder mixed with a little bit of inulin. And then taking up one of these little uh, sieves. You can just very gently tap it over the top. And then we have a, look at that. <laughs> How cute is that? Who doesn't want to eat that? So that's one thing we can do, is we can just tap, tap. And you see I'm just doing it gently on the, tapping it on the side of my, um, my wrist there. So it's got a real gentle sort of a fall from the cinnamon sugar, cinnamon, Sugar, 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 not really sugar. Look, cute as, cute as. But the one that I think everyone really loved, let me go and grab the chocolate. All right, chocoholics, please avert eyes. This is sugar-free chocolate. Oh, look at that, that I've had melting over on the stove for a little bit. The other thing, of course, that you can do with it is you can dip it into chocolate. So let's do that, shall we? Because that's really exciting. <laughs> All right, me and you, Mr. Donut, Mr., Mrs., not sure. 
just dip it in, bring it straight out. Now we have chocolate dipped. But you know, let's take it one step further. Let's do that again. Oh, it's terrible because you also get chocolate on your finger. Oh, what a terrible, terrible thing to have happen. You've, you've got to make sure you've got clean fingers too. All right, let's go. We have dipped again. But as I was saying, let's take it one step, oh, oh, let's take it one step further, put it down there. And what I've got over here is what you would have seen. Just some chopped nuts go on the top too. Now, for anyone who grew up in Auckland, New Zealand, as I did and my husband did, opposing neighbourhoods, by the way, I grew up in Ōtara, he grew up in Māngere, so that's um, as opposing as it could get for anyone who's from Auckland. If you grew up and you're around about the same age as us, you know, we're mid-40s, you may remember that little chocolate, do that little donut shop, and it was a glass-fronted one, and it was um, in between, I can't remember which movie theatres on Queen Street, on the main street, and used to, I used to push my nose up against the glass, looking at this, little donuts, so you'd watch the donuts being made, and then they'll come to the other end, and it had a chocolate, and it had the chocolate, and then you, they put the nuts on it, and I just thought it was the best thing in the entire world. Never actually ate one, never actually ate one, couldn't convince mum and dad it was going to be a good thing, but now I can make my own, except mine are gluten-free, sugar-free, and also dairy-free. Right, let's have a look at our donuts. Let's see what's going on over here. See that? Done. <laughs> Sorry, that's a really weird noise. But I just think that is so exciting that, you know, three, two, three minutes later, you, it's hot too, by the way, two to three minutes later, you have a little package of mini donuts ready for you and your family and kids. Oh my, this is such a great recipe for kids to make. Oh, they're really hot. Just saying, Bridge, what are you doing? Woo, they're really hot. She's still, she's still, look, she knows they're hot and she keeps on going. Goodness me. Glutton, glutton for punishment. All right. So, there you go. <laughs> look, guys. Look, we've made gluten-free, sugar-free, and dairy-free donuts. I mean, life is good, right? Cinnamon sugar, plain, or dipped in sugar-free chocolate with a little bit of, this is just almonds, you could do pecans, you could do walnuts, you could do hazelnuts, dipped on top. This is such a treat. It is kind of ridiculous. Oh, Kathy's just saying she remember, you remember that donut shop? Do you remember, Kathy? Do you remember? Oh, that, well, okay, Mahay was just saying it was right next to the St. James Theatre on Auckland, on Queen Street, which is our, which is our main drag, Queen Street in Auckland. And um, they, the smell coming from that little donut shop can now be had in your own home. <laughs> With your Canberra donut, donut factory, it is really cool. But you know what? I'm going to keep on making little things out of this because if I can get that result after a couple of minutes, I'm, pr look, I'm pretty excited by that. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this double up of videos. If you haven't seen the first part, go on to Bridget's Kitchen. Remember, we got cut off uh, mid midstream. Um, if you haven't seen the first. Uh, part of this video where I actually go through the recipe and give you the recipe like how much almond flour How much uh, baking soda all that sort of stuff um, go back onto Bridget's kitchen on Facebook and It'll be the very first um, post video you, second video you see this is this will be the first one now It'll be the second video you see on the page so you can actually get the uh, recipe for my little gluten-free sugar-free dairy-free donuts <laughs> All right guys have to go. I've got a meeting coming up right now. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Looking forward to seeing you all very, 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 very soon here in Bridget's Kitchen. Take care. Have a great week. Bye.